The diamonds and pearls that once belonged to Marie Antoinette and stayed in the Bourbon Parma royal family for two centuries are being put on public display in New York just weeks before they go to auction in Geneva. Douglas Walter, a Sotheby's jewelry specialist, notes the whole collection is extraordinary, yet one piece does stand out. The best piece would be this pearl drop is one million, low estimate of one million. But it's an amazing pearl. It's perfect. Ten unique pieces from the private collection of the last Queen of France, all made specifically for her, all loved and worn. When the French Revolution came crashing down on Versailles, Marie Antoinette made sure her jewelry stayed in the Bourbon family. Sent ahead of the, their deaths to Austria and kept in safekeeping there. And her daughter, Madame Royale, um, then collected them after she was released from prison. And they've stayed in the family ever since. It is believed that in the time of Marie Antoinette, Versailles, the residence of French monarchs, served as an example for other European royal courts. And the queen herself was an example of perfect taste. Her jewelry only proves that. Art lovers galore, as well as collectors and representatives of the biggest museums, line up at the entrance, hoping to look closer at the personal collection of priceless gems. Well, this three-row pearl necklace um, was Marie Antoinette's, and when she owned it and wore it, it was longer. And then at one point it was made into a very long sautoir, which is in that photograph there. Uh, and then eventually it was made into another three-row necklace, but shorter. But those are her pearls. This ribbon brooch was hers. Uh, the diamond drop, the yellow diamond drop, was at a later point. Marie Antoinette's contemporaries admired her charm and beauty, which didn't stop them, however, from criticizing the Queen for exuberant balls held in Versailles during hard times for the country. The famous phrase, if they don't have bread, let them eat cake, is often attributed to Marie Antoinette, yet there is no record of her actually having said it. But rumors aside, one thing is for certain, the last Queen of France did have great taste. For Evgeny Maslov in New York, I'm Anna Rice, VOA News.